Welcome to a few moments with Perry. Mention faith and works in the same biblical breath, and some will really get worked up. If they are at, at the scholarly end of this debate, they might affirm solar fide or faith alone. Playing around with words, some will try to work out a solution by affirming it's not faith plus works, it's a faith that works. I like that phrasing, but is it biblical? If so, that is one way to clear up any confusion. A close reading of Romans can easily clear this up too. I know that's a bold declaration, considering Romans is one of the sources, the main source people use to teach faith only. But if we allow Paul to use via inspiration his language, I think it is more easily cleared up and essential considering Romans is one of the books relied upon in this discussion. Do I believe in faith only? In Romans, the phrase is never used. So let's stick to the language of Romans to clear this up. Do I believe in a faith that works? Again, in Romans, that phrase is never used. To solve this dilemma, let's use Paul's inspired language. First, we have clear language wherein faith and works are used as antithetical means of obtaining salvation. For we conclude, Paul said in Romans chapter 3, verse 28, that a person is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. Second, we have just as clear language wherein faith and obedience are used as harmonious means of obtaining salvation. Through him, Paul wrote in chapter 1, verse 5 of Romans, we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among the Gentiles. When Paul uses works in Romans, he is affirming the action itself that we perform has no power to save. Only God can save. Anyone want to disagree with that? And when Paul uses obedience in Romans, he is affirming reliance upon God as the power to save. Again, only God can save. And again, anyone want to disagree with that? So in Romans, works emphasizes the action itself, while obedience emphasizes our submission to and the power of the one who has commanded the action. All this means in the language of Romans. We are not saved by faith and works, but we are saved by a faith that obeys the one in whom we have faith. Our faith is never in what we do and always in obeying the God who has done what we cannot do in faith. This has been a few moments with Perry. If you would like, please subscribe. Please leave a comment and please like. Thank you very much.